This week, the Grease Monkey. This is Walter Cronkite of the United Press, reporting to you from a 9th Air Force fighter base somewhere on the Western Front. Today I want to tell you about heroes and a guy. Now, heroes around air bases wear wings as a rule. But here at this air base, there is one hero who never flew a plane. His name? R.D. Hendrickson, Mr. Cronkite. I come from a pretty little town in Missouri. We call it Pleasant Hill. Yes, sir, Pleasant Hill. Those were the days. But just call me R.D., mister. Everybody around here... Yes, knows. everybody around here knows R.D., and that's what we call him. A 26-year-old kid from Pleasant Hill, Missouri. A grease monkey. A Mustang nurse. Take a good look at him. His coveralls are stained with oil. His fingernails are dirty. His thatch of blonde hair that'll never stay combed is always... Yeah, yeah. Did you say R.D.? Sure, I know that little toe-headed grease monkey. He wants to be a pilot. Stands off and listens to us shoot the breeze after a flight. Funny little guy. Go easy on him, Lieutenant. R.D.'s all right. And a good mechanic. He may have had an unfortunate brush with a major, but hell, that could happen to any of us. Ask the major. He'll tell you the same thing. Uh, how was that, Captain? What's that? R.D.? <laughs> Do I know him? How can I ever forget that little grease monkey? Oh, of course, it was an accident. Could happen to anybody. But why did it have to happen to me? Sergeant. Sergeant Mulvaney. Sergeant. Well, that should give you a pretty good idea of R.D., the Missouri grease monkey. One of the best mechanics in the business, but a funny little guy. In trouble more often than not. And not the kind of guy you write stories about. Stories are written about heroes. But today it's different. It's... Well, let me tell you what happened. Hey, R.D. Hiya, Sarge. What's Hop. up? Look, how about policing up this place? The major's coming. What's that? Stop that hammering! Get this shop cleaned up before the major gets here for inspection. Okay. What time is he coming? What's that? I said, what time is he coming? That's what I'm gonna find out. Hey, for heaven's sake, R.D., will you stop that confounded hammering? All true, R.D.? All but this one oil drum. Hey, Sarge... Hurry it up. The Major's coming now. Hey. Oh, doggone it. I tried to tell him it's full and not empty. Oh, well. I'll push it under the bench. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Now I'm in for it. Oil all over the floor. The Major coming. The Sergeant... Oh. Yeah. Well, here we are, Sergeant. Looks neat from the outside. Uh, wait till you see the inside, sir. Hey, Sarge. What was that? Hey, Sarge. Oh, uh, uh, just one of the grease monkeys inside getting everything ready for you, oh, sir. fine. Fine. Well, let's have a look. Uh, right this way, sir. Uh, a little dark inside. Uh, careful when you step down. Uh, please, sir. Ma Major, uh, don't come in. The oil drop. Step aside, son. I've just come to look. Uh, look out! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Major... Uh, here, let me help you up, sir. I warned him, Sarge. The oil drum turned over and the oil... The oil? Get me out of this mess, Sergeant. Uh, yes, sir. Let me help you Get up, away sir. from me. Uh, You'll answer for this, Sergeant. You'll answer for this. All right, R.D., all right. You already got one strike on you. The Major didn't like falling in that oil at all. Uh, if you weren't one of the best mechanics on the field, I'd put you right back into KP. I tried to warn him, Ah, uh, shut up! One more like that and you're gonna be in real trouble. But, Sarge... You understand? Yes, Sarge. Hey, Sarge. Yeah, what is it? Boy, we certainly dusted him off yesterday, huh? Yeah, the boys did it all right. How many was it? Forty-two shot down. Boy, that must have been a battle. You know, 
I wonder what it's like to be up there with hot steel smacking at you from all directions. Someday I'm gonna... You're gonna what? You're a grease monkey, R.D., remember? Yeah, but you can't shoot a guy for dreaming. No. No, but I can put you on KP for dreaming. Finish that job on that bad flipper. Finish it, I said. Uh, just about through. Then we'll be all set to give them Krauts another round of hell in high water. Ah, don't be too sure they won't pay us a return visit. Oh, after what happened yesterday? Nah, they haven't got enough planes. How do you know? Say, aren't you through with that flipper yet? Yeah, yeah, all through. Well, come on, let's take a look at that Mustang on the runway. Then the boys will wheel out the rest. You mean the one with the bump trottle? Yeah, Lieutenant Crane's job. Yeah, that's the one. Come on. All right, R.D., climb in and take a good look at it. But remember, no fooling around. Uh, Okay, Sarge. Uh, Give me a hand, will you? Here you go. Uh, There we are. Well, how's it look? Uh, Give me that wrench. There you go. Thanks. Uh, That does it. You sure? That plane don't leave the field today unless it's in top shape. Sure, I'm sure. Look. Artie! Artie! Get it off before you take off! I'm cutting it off! Are you? Gosh, I... Sarge, I- I'm sorry. I didn't think. Yeah, yeah, you didn't think. You didn't think. When do you ever think? Get out of that plane, Artie! Get out of that plane! Sure, Sarge. Now, listen. Let me explain. It's That's just... the last straw, Artie. Now you are going to go on KP. Oh, sorry. Shut up! We got work to do. All right, you grease monkeys. Wheel those Mustangs out. Okay, okay Sarge. Sarge. Right, Sarge. Watch the runways, Joe. Come on, Artie. Give me a hand. Sure, Sarge. Here you go. <clears throat> okay, now. Check the runway, Artie. And for Pete's sake, watch what you're hey, doing. Hey, Sarge! Look! Messerschmitt! Messerschmitt! Get out of that plane, Sarge! Take cover, man! I'm trying to beat it! You're in the major, Sarge! Look out! Look out, you fool! Sarge! You're hit! Come on, you gotta get out of that plane! It's burning! I'm sure I'm hit. I can make it, kid. Here, lean on me. Okay. There. Put your arm around my shoulder, Sarge. Okay. Take cover, Daniel. Take cover. They're coming back, Sarge. Come on, we'll head for that bomb crater over there. It's so far, kid. We'll never make it. We'll never make it, kid. Get dirty, lousy crouch. Hang on, Sarge. Okay. We're getting there. Keep going. Keep going. The task of getting the wounded sergeant to the bomb crater involved five minutes of cool, calm work on R.D.'s part. And all the while, Messerschmitts roared over the field, their machine guns blazing, bullets kicking up dirt and snow, metal screaming through the air. But the little Missouri grease monkey, oblivious to the danger, dragged his wounded sergeant safely to cover. And even then, he wasn't through being a hero. Take it easy, Sarge. You'll be all right. Of all the pig-headed stubborn fools, you took an awful chance out there, R.D. But you're my pal, uh, so... Hey, hear that? Yeah, somebody's out there. Yeah, let me take a look. Hey, it's Joe. Joe? Sit tight, uh, Sarge, I'll be back. Hey, R.D., come back here. Come back, you fool, come back. Officers and the enlisted men watching R.D. thought he was crazy. They yelled warnings for him to get back to cover. But the grease monkey's ears seemed to be strained for other sounds. And as we watched him out there... He's right. making it. Come on. Come, Come on, on, boys. Let's Come, do it. Come, Come on. on. Come on, you crazy you grease that. monkey. Come on. Come on, kid. Come on. Come on. Make it sure. Sure, man. I, I know, I know. Just a little more, Joe. Oh. Hey, Sarge, can you give me a hand? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Push him toward me. Yeah. In you go, Joe. Yes, 
Yes, the sergeant and Joe both made it. Thanks to R.D., the grease monkey from Pleasant Hill, Missouri. The funny little guy who was always getting into trouble. But the night after the raid, it was a different story. I tell you, gentlemen, what that boy did today is the highest example of courage I've ever witnessed. I certainly had that guy all wrong. He's okay. Well, say, Major, how are Joe and the Sarge coming along? Oh, fine, Captain, fine. Hey, uh, where is this uh, R.D., this uh, grease monkey? Seems that I met him before somewhere. You have, Major. He's the guy who spilled the oil. Oh, him? <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course, the oil. <laughs> I seem to recall uh, falling into it. <laughs> <laughs> Say, where is our hero? Let's go get him. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on. The Major, the Captain, and the Lieutenant met R.D. coming out of the hospital where he had called on Joe and the Sarge. <laughs> ah, marvelous piece of work today, R.D. Splendid. Splendid. Thank you, sir. You were right in there, R.D. Put her there, son. Uh, tell me, R.D., uh, what is your name, anyway? Well, folks back home, sir, have been calling me R.D. ever since I could remember. What's the matter, R.D.? Have you got one of those first names? Well, that... uh, uh, Captain, it's, uh, Royal. Well, well, Royal! Well, son, from now on, you're Royal around here. You understand? Ah, Royal, my foot. He's R.D. to me. Just R.D. The best damn grease monkey in the business. You have just heard Walter Cronkite's heartwarming story of the Grease Monkey, the saga of a hero who never flew a plane. Cronkite, like other United Press correspondents, was on the scene of battle, ready to tell the world what happened. His story about the grease monkey is just another example of the on-the-spot alertness of the men of UP, the soldiers of the press. So look for United Press dispatches in your favorite newspaper. Listen for United Press dispatches on your radio. They are your guarantee of the world's best coverage of the world's biggest news. <laughs> 